The impossible has happened in the One Punch Man manga. We've gone back in time. But it's not Saitama's doing, it's God's. Oh well, it may as well be, because every time this happens, his minions get ten times stronger. You see, Murata has scrapped the entire ninja village arc and is redoing it, which is why we're back at the Hero Association with Blast, Flashy Flash and Saitama meeting together to discuss their attack on God. Before, Flashy Flash questioned Blast about everything he knew regarding God and his connection to the ninja village and how he wants to join the battle against it, but this time Blast just tells him, Listen, you're not that guy, bro. And as we will later see, Blast is right. Because this new god level threat is confirmed to be the strongest foe Saitama has ever faced. Which is why Blast is so happy to see his bald head. It turns out he remembers Saitama's insane strength. He was there when Garo unleashed his Gamma Ray Burst, which is why he couldn't believe his eyes when Saitama returned to finish the fight with a single punch. However, that punch also fueled this new god level threat, Empty Void. At the time, Blast was trying to reduce the damage on the ground by sending the poisonous cosmic rays from Garo into another dimension using gravity. But Blast effed up as his rival Void was waiting, sucking up all that juicy, nutritious, godly radiation for himself to power up. Mmm, nom 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 nom. Delicious. Now, Blast doesn't remember everything else that happened in Saitama vs. Garo, like the space battle and time travel, but he has disclosed Saitama's power to Sitch, stating how he couldn't see the end of his bottomless pit of strength. This means that we are one step closer to everyone finally understanding the limitless power of the caped baldy and why God is after him. Because following Blast's report, the Hero Association oh should God. start oh, taking Genesis' four-hour thesis on Saitama more seriously. Because despite being a total glazing session, what the demon cyborg saw is true. Saitama doesn't care anyway because they can't remember no matter how hard he tries. Besides, the Garrow issue is all sorted now, so like there's nothing to worry about. Which is when it's revealed that Empty Void's return is imminent. How imminent? I don't know, roughly five minutes I'd say. But first, Blast has to listen to the Yapatron 3000. Flashy Flash tells him his whole life story and how the ninja village was just a training ground for the possible minions of God, which is where he found found that man, aka Empty Void. What's crazy though is that this time Blast confirms that Empty Void and him were on equal footing back when they were partners. Since then though he's accepted God's power, causing his overall power level to explode exponentially. We can all remember how much stronger Garo got when he accepted just a tiny fraction of that same power, right? So to put things into perspective, even after entering his cosmic fear mode, Blast still believes believed he was on equal footing. His guardians of the galaxy pals even said when they saw Saitama facing him that they were surprised somebody else other than Blast was capable of it. Does it make sense why he wasn't worried about taking him on 1v1, labelling it a battle of supremacy between two beings capable of manipulating the cosmos? Remember, Blast is the number one hero. He's the best of the best, only to be relied upon when the Earth is in danger. He's his own authority that not even the Hero Association can boss around. And well, if you your life goal is to defeat God, well that should say everything about how strong he is. Hence why Garo, a man capable of creating multiple nukes from his fists, respected him. Blast took no damage from Garo and even dodged his punches. Let's not forget that Saitama is 2000 times faster than light anyway, yet Blast reacted to him in time and teleported both him and Garo out into space to save the planet before their punches connected. In stark contrast to this, the sheer thought of Empty Void making his return sends Blast into full Joseph Joestar mode. But I can't say I'm surprised, because when these two met after the cosmic Garo fight, he was shook. Thus, it's nice to see where Blast got his name from because this dude decides to just shoot on sight. It has no effect on Void though, who just tanked that shit and unlocked his new awakened state. When Void first accepted God's power, Blast barely managed to issue enough damage to send him into a 15 year coma, but now he's even been juiced up by Garrow's God powers, and so in short, he's 
totally cracked right now, which is when Blast performs the best feat we've seen from him yet. Not only does he react from Empty Void attack all the way from another dimension, but Blast teleports the entire Hero Association base to safety before returning. However, something ain't right. In chapter 196, Blast said how in his last battle with Void, he sent him into a coma for about 15 years, but he was literally there like, I don't know, a week ago facing off against him in the Garrow fight? So... Don't ask questions, just consume product and then get excited for next product. Nonetheless, Saitama asks Blast if he could win, to which he responds, Well, mm, I'll figure it out. However, Empty Void hasn't been the only one getting stronger, as Blast has been too. Before this, we've already seen some of what he's capable of. He has his dimensional cannon, which does tremendous amounts of damage and sends people to another space, in which they are clobbered again or completely discombobulated. Obviously, just like Void, he's also able of teleporting between the dimensions. He can send you into an infinite loop of interdimensional travel just by trapping you between two portals, and when combined with his gravity knuckles, this attack should be enough to get rid of pretty much 99% of the One Punch Man cast. The truth is though, if he wants to stand any chance of beating Void, he's gonna need to bring something much better to the table, as Void has been preparing for this day in another dimension. You see, his power comes from God himself. It allows him to interfere with a higher dimension, ignoring this distance, energy and size to an extent that is totally unknown. Sitch and Flashy Flash have no idea what this means though, because you know, they're so silly. Makes perfect sense. I'm confused! I'm confused right now, G! If it wasn't obvious already, Empty Void's power means that he can attack anything from anywhere at any moment. He's nowhere, but everywhere. He is a fourth dimensional being. He can even distort space-time and bend it to his will. This is a side a level feat as we saw him do the same thing against Garrow when he just picked up the cosmic space portal and moved it to one side like it was just this, you know, slight inconvenience. And so whilst in the webcomic, Empty Void was just this no-named leader of the ninja village, he was, he was pretty strong. Uh, yeah, he's now a demigod. There is hope to bring him back though, as that is what Blast and the Hero Association have been secretly working on behind the scenes. A method to turn monsters back into humans. This is why Blast failed to beat Empty Void 15 years ago because he hesitated in the final moment, unable to bring himself to kill a friend. Luckily, their research is beginning to pay off. You see, according to Dr. Genus, the desire to become a monster can stem from unhealthy habits, a complex, or dissatisfaction with oneself. In most cases, when someone monsterizes through obsessive behavior, they reflect it. For example, crab lantain is cravings for eating crab. Ingesting monster cells, on the other hand, amplifies a human strength considerably, as seen with Hellfire Flame and Gale Wind. The issue is that after eating a monster cell, that's it. You can't grow any stronger than what you have become. Nonetheless, this procedure doesn't seem to be quite perfect yet, as two monsters from the martial arts tournament are left in critical condition. However, the experiments do seem to have some positive effect, as we see that one of the monsters get back up and ask for a round two. It's clear that whilst looking like a monster, their humanity has returned. In doing so, his numbers stabilize and provide some promising results, proving to Blast that their spirit spiritual fortitude is key to reverting them back to human. You see, when you eat a monster cell, a drug is secreted within the brain that removes human morals. Therefore, the key is to regain the morals that you lost. Linking back to what Saitama mentioned about why he's the strongest as he refers back to his immensely strong human spirit. We see another element of this in chapter 196, as Saitama instantly picks up on the fact that Blast is doing all he can to save his friend. The Saitama of old would have had no care for this, but with the likes of Jenna, King and Fubuki, and most recently Tatsumaki, Flash and Manoko, all becoming his friends, Saitama is beginning to realise this importance. We saw in the alternate timeline that he learnt it the hard way, having to watch Genos die in front of him, but this time it's different. Nonetheless, all this explains how God preys upon people with a weak spirit. His goal is to find himself a new and worthy avatar that can house his full power in order for his full resurrection, hence the creation of the ninja village built to strip young boys of all emotions. When we look at those that fell for this trap, we have the likes of Homeless Emperor, who was at the lowest point a human could be, contemplating the game end himself. Psychos was another, due to 
Loki cutting off her powers, she desperately seeks out any way to grow stronger so that she could enact on her ideologies of wiping out humanity as she viewed them as a disease to the planet. Tatsumaki confirms this in chapter 132 when she states, You of all people should know that the only ones who gather around espers are those trying to use them. It's because you're not mentally ready that you got yourself seduced by some strange being and used as a pawn. Subsequently, her strong mental fortitude was what allowed Tatsumaki to reject God's advances in chapter 156. And then of course there was Garrow, who also, despite being at a low point in his life, also saw through God's disguise, yet admitted in chapter 168 that his spirit was weak, thus still affected. The thing is, there's someone who overcame the power of the monster cells once already, and that is... Sonic. Whilst it's believed the reason it had no effect was due to him cooking it, we learn from this chapter that Sonic was born with a powerful soul and a dream for the future. Thus, the ninja village couldn't control him, nor did the monster cells take effect. Like I said, the ninja village was always a front to create pawns for God, but Sonic and Flashy Flash were immune and the anomalies to this. Together, the two vowed to destroy the village and build a new one. This backs up Blast's claim about monsters' psychological states being the secret to reverting them back to normal. In spite of this, Flash received a letter of challenge from his old friend Sonic, where he reveals their old ninja leader has returned. Flash is glad to see that his old friend refuses to stoop so low as to become a pawn of God, rather this is simply a battle to settle an old feud. But it doesn't matter if they're mentally strong enough to refuse Void's arrival, because physically, they aren't even in the same league. Luckily, Blast has given Flash a failsafe, a button he can press that would let the number one S-class hero know Void's arrived, allowing him to arrive onto the scene as well. But this time, there's no Saitama. He's happy to trust that old man Blast can get the job done, so instead he's gonna go and enjoy some curry udon with Manako. But let's be real, his bald head is the only hope they have to defeat this enemy, and following Blast moving the hero base to safety, we can see people screaming, so knowing Saitama's luck, his apartment will have been trashed once again. And as we know, that is how you get Saitama to mean business. But if you want to mean business, click this video on your screen right now to experience more peak fiction.